So now that the storm has calmed down a bit, I figured that it would be appropriate for me to discuss the acquisition that is Microsoft buying Activision. So let's get into it. Here I come! All right, so first and foremost, I just hope that the employees that worked at Activision are gonna be in a much safer and healthier environment for working. That's the utmost importance out of everything here. Um, secondly, uh, when it comes to my thoughts on Crash and Spyro in particular, I don't think that they will become exclusive to Xbox personally. I feel like they will still be multi-platform as uh, their respective series. However, it wouldn't surprise me if they were to become exclusive to Xbox, and it doesn't really bother me personally because I have an Xbox 360. That's the only Xbox I've ever owned. I got it late last year because of Dead or Alive 4 having online, um, and you know it's a dope console. I think it's cool. Uh, however, if I were to invest into a Xbox, it would probably be because Crash Bandicoot has a new title on it that's exclusive to it. That's assuming because of the acquisition that Crash Bandicoot has a new title coming that will be exclusive on Xbox due to this recent event. So that's my personal thought on it. Uh, a console is a console and every console stands out on their own due to the exclusives that they have. So it doesn't really affect me too much. Um, it doesn't bother me at all. So, I mean, if I were to get an Xbox One or whatever the new Xbox will be, um, for a Crash Bandicoot game, I would probably do it, but that would take an investment, and I don't usually do that. I don't do that often at all, so yeah, that's really my whole opinion when it comes to that aspect. However, I will say, if there was to be a PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale sequel, he will more than likely not appear in it, and I don't even want to discuss Super Smash Bros. Now when it comes to Bobby Kotick and Phil Spencer in particular, I don't know if Phil Spencer was just like, you know what, you're trash as an owner, as a person, and the way that you treat your workers, so we're just gonna buy you. Or if it was a matter of Bobby Kotick being like, you know what, there's a lot of shit hitting the fan right now, and I don't wanna deal with this problem, so let's just give the problem to somebody else to burden. and. Lo and behold, Microsoft owns them now. So, you know, things can be stated publicly, but you never know what's really going on behind the curtains and things aren't always as they seem. So that's really my whole thing on this situation. So that's really all I can say. Uh, I mean, I think it's cool, you know, that Crash is owned by Xbox because he was never owned by Nintendo. He was never owned by Sony, but he was considered to be Sony's unofficial mascot because, you know, they didn't own him, but when people think of PlayStation, they're gonna think of Crash Bandicoot. At least when it comes to like who's the Mario of that platform, they're going to think about Crash. So now that he's owned by Xbox, it's a little ironic, but it's not too unfamiliar because he's always been multi-platform since Wrath of Cortex. And you know, the Xbox was cool for him to be on, you know, when he went multi-plat and even on Nintendo. But you know, since he's owned by Microsoft now, it definitely uh, makes things a bit more interesting, I will admit. So. Yeah, I mean, that's all I could really say. Hope you guys enjoyed this very short video. Um, it's nice to talk about Crash every once in a while. Um, so I hope you guys are content with my thoughts and everything, my actual thoughts. So yeah, that's all I could really say. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys in the next one whenever, if ever. Peace.